What's Crack Life and Challenger? I'm your host, James Moreland. Today we will be talking about this uh, $7 light. Lights. So guys, something awesome happened yesterday or last night. Our guppy gave birth. Our really big pregnant guppy, which I thought was going to give birth like a week ago. She literally gave birth to these microscopic fry. Like these are things that are like super small. So far I counted six of them. And they're like really small. Hopefully I'll have some footage of it. Like I barely could see it. You have to like stand still and wait until you see some movement. But yeah guys, before this video starts, make sure you guys go down below do hashtag challenger. Yeah, you guys will get a little heart. But recently I got these lights and I made videos about them and I didn't upload them because I don't think I gave them justice. Plus I also wanted to wait until the second one came in. So the light I'm using right now to film is actually the light I've been using for this tank. And it is not meant for aquariums at all, it's actually like a USB lamp. But I went on eBay and I found this lamp for like 7 bucks. And guys, this is absolutely crazy. I think it's like 42 or 48 LEDs and 8 of them are actually blue and the rest are white. And you guys can see, this thing is no joke. When I first got this, I was actually going to be using this for my 20 tall, but instead I decided I was like, hey, I got a 20 long over here that can use a new light. <laughs> and then this happened. But this thing is so awesome. I've noticed my plants have been looking really healthy. I think I've had this for like two weeks or like a week. Oh yeah, guys, recently I've been using like fast cuts in the video, so if you guys like those, just hit the poll right now. But anyways, back to this video. Alright guys, the pro to this light is it is very affordable. The cable is really long, plus the thing that plugs into the outlet is really narrow. And I have a couple outlets on a power strip, and this just like fits in perfectly because how narrow it is. And it has a long enough cable so I can just wrap around the entire thing. It also has a nice bendable um, little light, so if your plants are starting to wilt or anything or... I think it's called melting. You can actually lift this up even more just so it has more cover around your light. So if you want it more concentrated, you can have it lower or just wider, you can have it higher up. But now onto one of the most annoying flaws that I have is it's decently built, but the thing is the thing that connects to the aquarium is a little, a little narrow. You guys can see how small this plastic piece is. They expect this to like wrap around the side wall of your aquarium, but the thing is, it, it just isn't cutting it. I found a way like when you twist it and push down, you can actually wedge like, I, I have to show you. When you wedge it in all the way, there's still like more than half that's not going in just because most common aquariums have this little lip right here and there's no way of getting around that. So you can actually see if I can push it down anymore, but it has this little bolt in here and you basically screw that into the plastic and it, it kind of keeps it more secure. Let me try that again. So when you do it, screw it in and you put pressure on this actual wall. I've actually noticed that it actually stays on pretty well. But yeah, I wouldn't recommend this like a single one for more than probably like a 5 or a 10 gallon. Like if we put on the 10 gallon, it would be kind of stretching it. But maybe for a 1 gallon, like that would be a little too much. Um, maybe even for like a 3 gallon. When I first ordered this, I wasn't planning on getting a second one. But I was like, hey, this only covers like half of it. I still need another one. So I'm going to plug this one in and you guys can tell me what you think is the difference. Do you guys notice anything? This one is a white light and this is more blue. So there's actually like, if you guys see how white this is, and then you go here, it's blue. <laughs> there were two suppliers and I got them from the other one the second time. So that kind of sucks. I'm just drinking some Dr. Pepper over here. But anyways, I'm going to probably be ordering more of these lights for other tanks. So hopefully we'll get some matching ones. However, eventually I want to actually make my own uh, series with like a strip of LEDs or just buy one of those cool ones that's like expandable. But yeah guys, I would definitely recommend this if you're a beginner, new into this hobby. It's a pretty awesome light. And I know I'm going to get more of them. So guys, we also got a new Patreon. Gavin, thank you so much for becoming one of our Patreons. That means a lot. Shout out to Gavin. And that's going to be it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully you guys like this LED video, but I'll have a link down below in the description where you guys can pick it up. I don't have any discounts or anything. So, yeah, it's like seven bucks. But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and have a great day. See you later. Catch you on the flippy flop.